Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel! So today's video is a very nice, calming video. I'll be talking about 10 things I learned before I turned 20. And while telling you guys that, I'll be making some coffee! Ayan guys, start na tayo. What made me write down this list? Well, if you guys know, kasi, when I was inside the house, the PBB house, they called me the 30-year-old therapist <laughs> inside the house. And parang, it was always something that parang, you know, I, I, I have a lot of life lessons in my head. In my head. <laughs> I have a lot of life experience. I have a lot of life experience, let's just say. So, so now I'm gonna start with the first thing that's on my list. On ko muna yung coffee machine. Ayan. So the first thing that's on my list is that family is not only blood. Alright guys, if you know me, you know my family is my world. You know they mean everything to me. But you also know that I have a very interesting, colorful family. <laughs> but it's something that I love about my family. And it just only proves to me that you know, love. It's really about the people that are there for you, who love you, and Aww. who who help shape who you are today. And yeah, you can choose your family. I've made new family here in the Philippines, actually pursuing my dreams. Which huh, go to number two. <laughs> the second thing on my list is that dreams require sacrifice. Okay, before talking about that, this is ready. So let's put this here, and let's press the coffee machine. Wait, let's see if I did it first. <laughs> It's going to happen and it's working! <laughs> Alright, so dreams require sacrifice. If you guys know, I moved to the Philippines. Or if you don't know, I moved to the Philippines when I was 14 alone. While my family, my moms, and my sister are in Canada. And you know, it was hard, but it's kind of worth it getting to be able to do this, everything that I love to do and I'm so grateful that I get to do it. So this is also for you guys, huh? This is not just for people that are interested in showbiz or anything. All dreams require sacrifice, you know, if you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a chef, you know, it, it really does require sac sacrifice, but it's really worth it in the end, guys. So if you truly, truly love it and you're truly passionate about it, just keep on going. But when things get hard, I know it can get overwhelming. Ayan! Ang galing ko mag-segue, ah. Let's go to number three. <laughs> the third thing is that always take things one step at a time. Baby steps lang, guys. Me, personally, I get overwhelmed very, very easily. Lalo na in this line of work. So many things are going on. I have like sometimes five schedules in one day. So what I like to do is I like to take a step back. Take a breath, you know? And just... Breathe and just realize, you know, relax. Take one thing step at a time. And ako actually, minsan sinusulat ko din talaga everything that's on my mind. Kaya journals help then. One of the things that can make things, you know, life overwhelming is people. Some people that you into, for example, me, who may bashers or anything. Oh, okay lang yan, guys. It brings me to number four. You can't please everyone. But before we go into that, let's get the coffee, guys. Look, I made so much coffee. I made coffee for all of us, guys. Okay, let's get it. And see, coffee for you, coffee for me. But of course, I'll separate your coffee. Nandito, lady and the tramp. Na parang sabay tayo mo <laughs> coffee anyway. Ayan, so like I was saying naman, for me, for example, you experience bashers, you experience people that no matter what you do, they just always seem to find problems with you. As long as you're true to yourself, as long as you're you're not harming any anyone else, okay lang yan. Basta masaya ka. Just be kind. Just just say, I hope things get better for you. <laughs> so, ayun guys, number five is choose your battles. Ayan, okay. I did my half now, so this is my coffee. And here's yours, but I'll leave it down here lang muna. Alright. So next, before we move on to choosing your battles, I'm gonna put some all-purpose cream into this. 
I've never tried this before, but someone told me to try it, so I'm very excited. Comment down below kung na try mo na at kung masarap siya. I mean, I guess we'll find out by the end of this video. <laughs> Some people purposely just try to bring you down for no reason at all, and parang wait lang na distract ako sa coffee ko, okay? I like to. I'm gonna mix it until it's very smooth. There we go. So yeah, so let's say there's someone out there that's just trying to purposely, not purposely, but just try to cause harm, make chismes, ganon. Okay lang yan, hayan mo lang sila. But you, you don't want to give them the satisfaction of knowing that they affected you, that what they said actually matters. It's only going to give them more fuel to keep going. Diba? So hayan mo lang sila. Live your life, be happy, show them na wala kang... You know, then. okay. So let's stir this. I haven't stirred in the sugar yet. I don't know if I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know if all-purpose cream is supposed to make your coffee look very um it has stars inside. Stars. <laughs> but I am all right. So let's do a quick, quick taste test before I move on. Okay, not bad. Halatang first timer, pero okay la. <laughs> Sayon, but this is good enough for me. So, I guess let's sit down and talk more about the other five things that I learned. Ayan, so that brings me to number six, which is kill them with kindness. Okay, let's go back to that person that was making chismes about you, all right? <laughs> and you chose to ignore them. Good for you. Or you can just, you know, let's say you meet them. You're you're at the mall. You're grocery shopping. Then all of a sudden you see them. Oh my gosh, what are you going to do? Daba? Are you gonna be like, oh my god, how dare you start chismes about me? No, you're not. You're going to keep your class. You're gonna be calm. And in the ibig sabihin plastikan, ha? This is not, you don't have to be fake. Number one thing, I believe in karma, guys. So it will get back to them. Don't worry. Just if you be kind, the universe will reward you with kindness also. But speaking of being kind and being nice to that girl that was meditating about you, right? Gusto ko na may, may story din na nabuo dito sa, sa, sa YouTube video na to. Pero, ayun, you have to be aware of your mental health and take care of your mental health. I feel like we can get rid of that whole, that whole taboo ba? Na parang, there's nothing wrong with taking care of your mental health and just making sure that you're okay. I know you're thinking, Shy, how am I gonna do that? How can I take care of my mental health? So many things, so many things. Let's take a sip of coffee first. Mmm, yummy. Okay, <laughs> But no, okay. So, mental health. So many things you can do. Have me time. For example, this parang me time naman din to for me. I'm just having coffee, I'm talking to you guys, ganun, heart to heart, parang ganun. Make sure that you have a support system. You have that group of friends, or even one friend, quality over quantity. You have that friend that you know that you can trust and confide in, and you can tell your problems to, kahit rant lang. And if you're the friend listening, you don't even have to give advice most of the time. Sometimes you can just, so, you know, okay, I hear you. Naiintindihan kita. Sometimes in mental health, you can be too hard on yourself. Sometimes you forget to, to be kind to yourself. Ayan, and that brings me to number eight, okay? Appreciate your accomplishments, okay? Big or small, appreciate the small things, guys. Let's say, for example, halimbawa, you woke up, you did your skincare, you got ready and you did your makeup. Okay. That's so small. That's something people do every single day. Honestly. But it's also an accomplishment. For, for some people, it can also be hard actually to do those things, to get ready and do those things. Or, okay, fine, let's say something else. You finished all your assignments early for school. Oh, diba? Accomplishment din yun, guys. Appreciate that. You've come so far. You know, you've... You've done so much, so give yourself a pat on the back for that also, you know. Number nine. So this is a motto that I kind of heard growing up and it clicked with me right away. It's 
be the change you want to see in the world. And I really love that because uh, you feel like the world needs to be a little more happier. I think it starts with you, the ba. You have to be a little happier. Para siyang domino effect. You have no idea who who you can inspire or who you can help just by doing those simple things. <laughs> Para kong professional na <laughs> dito. Ayan. Okay. So let's go on with the last one. This one is also a motto that I live by. It's you only accept the love you think you deserve. Oh, daba. Ang gali. <laughs> but let's say, for example, you're in a relationship na medyo toxic. Oh, no. All right. And parang, I mean, it may be hard to hear, but it could reflect on you. Na parang, why are you allowing this person to treat you like this? To treat you badly i'm not trying to offend but seriously it could it could reflect on your self-confidence for example or your self-value na parang, you know you have to love yourself before anyone else can love you because only you can love yourself the way you deserve to be loved and ayun okay so that is it guys i can't believe it we did 10 things i learned before i turned 20. oh i'll even add a bonus one for you guys because i also love this one <laughs> number 11 your best revenge is your success oh diba? that maritesta was talking about you the supermarket oh successful ka. that's the best revenge that you can have just go on with your life ayan so i want to thank you guys so much for watching this youtube video for joining me here in this Coffee, coffee break, <laughs> coffee time. Watching me struggle to make basic coffee, but <laughs> okay lang yan. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please comment down below some of your learning, some things that you learned so that we can learn from each other, diba? Ayun, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh my god, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.